and then it goes into into that cavity make sure there are two types of people they're preppers and they're naive people right. hey guys welcome back a lot of you have been asking why I haven't I been putting out <clears throat> Uh, lots of videos lately or any videos lately ever since the India trip well as you see right now and I've told you in the last video is I'm um, at my new home new home yeah and this is what my uh, stable looks like right now it's one big mess now why did I not get a chance uh, to clean up set up and do everything well August August in aviation is the busiest season like everybody travels during the summer flights are full and that's where pretty much i need to be full time on job putting in the most hours uh that i can adding to that is we just moved family came my daughter came and her boyfriend came from israel to visit the whole family was here all four kids and we took a trip to canada to the niagara falls both sides then came back here, took my youngest one to Tokyo, spent time in Japan with her. So literally from the day we actually moved, I didn't have time to do anything. Things are still in boxes as you see. And I literally just got home today. So the whole past two, three weeks, I've been, uh, I just didn't have time. I didn't have time to come out here and uh, play around with my bikes. Today, I took Grey Ghost out and uh, I'm gonna do something really cool to this area. Pardon me for all the, the mess, you know? Literally, what you see is all the gardening uh, stuff that I did in the backyard to fix it up because, like I said, from the minute we moved in, I didn't have time for anything. So still trying to figure out what, uh, you know, where, what goes where and like, where do I put my stuff? Where do I, you know, you see, you see the mess. Anyway, bear with me while i'm gonna do this video and promise you to have more videos coming out because i have so much stuff that i had sent to me from my great sponsors beyond riders advan black custom dynamics so much stuff that i need to install and i just didn't have time for it once i find everything and i know where it's going on the bike and uh pop out those videos the how-to and the installs that you just love anyway tomorrow we're going to maine again i i wish i could be there for the whole period with the guys but uh, again i have to go back uh, and fly more just another two weeks but it's gonna be a great time the one day that i'm gonna be spending with them going up to lake george and then through vermont hopefully and i'll be heading down by myself back home let me get all the stuff ready needed for the uh, advan black chin chin spoiler let me get all the stuff out see over the past of the last two years uh, two, three years. Ever since COVID, I've been moving around, moving from one place to the other. As much as it's stressful and difficult, it's actually somewhat uh, refreshing because it gives you a chance to go through all your stuff, all the things that you have and own, and then decide, do I take them with me? Do I really need them? Or should I just throw them out? My wife has this rule that she goes by. If you haven't used it in the last two years, that means you're not going to use it. It, it. In terms of clothing and stuff like that, but even also in our in our stuff in our garage, uh, you know, things that I haven't used, better off just sell them secondhand or just throw them away. And then when you do need it, you go ahead and, and get it. So things I did take with me, uh, you know, all, like where did I put all my stuff? Electrical, generator, my uh, solar panel, emergency solar panel. And you, yeah, my refrigerator, emergency refrigerator. And uh, you're asking myself, yeah, I am somewhat of a prepper. In, in my eyes, there are two types of people. They're preppers and they're naive people. Now, no offense to anybody. Even like when you say prepper, it's like a, it's like a tinfoil hat uh, kind of uh, connotation, but it's not. Even having uh, down in your basement some food for a day or two or a generator if there is a blackout or whatever. I'm not saying, you know, they're, being a prepper can be like full, full uh, spectrum of having an atomic, an atomic shelter and a doomsday supplies for six months. Or there's just like, you know, the other spectrum, just being minded, thinking of what happens if, 
having a food for a week, maybe a few days, a generator, uh, I don't know, things like that. But yeah, I have some stuff like that that I keep with me just in case. So where I put it now, where do, how do I organize this place? And it needs to be presentable because it's so you guys can see me working on my bike and the whole the whole thing. My, my family just, my wife just came back from shopping. She's going to go, no photo. Ah, she didn't say no photo. Oh my God, I can't believe that. So I think I found, I think I found the pot in all the boxes that are laying all around. That's the, the chin mount. And by the way, I have already, before we moved, I already took out the, the screens, okay? You see these screens over here? They come, I think, in chrome, as I recall, and I painted them. Let me show you. This was a few months ago. Take a look. So now I'm going to apply the second coat, second coat of black. Good enough. We'll let it dry and then we'll install. So now this is uh, after it's been painted. And got to tell you, it's just fiberglass. It's not plastic. You can actually see the, you know, the work, the fiberglass. And it's pretty heavy. Oh, man, I hope I didn't ship this. No, it's good. Pretty heavy. Now, I, I personally think it's cosmetics. There were people that will say, oh, no, it's actually even uh, some kind of functional because it has these screens that protect uh, the the uh, oil oil radiator, uh, oil cooler over there in the front of the bike. I don't know, I'm not gonna argue about that, but this is mainly for looks. You can install it. It comes with another bracket that uh, I'll show you very soon if I can find it. it, should be here, there it is. This bracket with uh, obviously the bolt, the hardware, this bracket goes on the bottom, you'll see very soon. I think on the oil cooler itself or on the oil, whatever it is over there, down there. This is connected to the bottom. And then these, or these, I'm not sure right now, connect to the, to the bottom of the, uh, right here. Okay, let me show you. Right here. This way, we'll see you later, or this way. Hopefully, my engine guard won't be in the way. Well, about four hours went by. I stopped, it was, you know, as you see, my daughter came home and immediately it was, Abba, can you help me hang up pictures in my room? So I literally spent the last few hours uh, decorating a room, hanging things, drilling, putting uh, anchors in the wall, hanging things from the ceiling. And I waited for the, you know, the sky, the sun to move where I get shade over here. So I'm going to start working on it right now. Yeah, and I had some time to shave, to look like a mensch, to find my Advan Black hat because we're doing an Advan Black part. I thought it's only suit and fit and proper that I'll be wearing their their hat. And again, thank you to Advan Black for supplying and providing this. I keep calling it a chin mount. It's a chin skirt or it's a chin uh, fairing. That's what it is. This is where I'm gonna be working right here. This is gonna come off. That little bracket is gonna come and attach on the bottom and the top is gonna to come in over here. I have to remove this bolt and the nut that's right behind it, which is a pain in the ass. And then the chin, chin uh, mount, chin uh, fairing is gonna fit over there. Right there. By the way, you see these shoes? So my friends make fun of me, saying it's a little bit uh, not macho uh, to wear them, but I tell you what, I love them. They're uh, the barefoot concept. It's like got a minimal, minimal sole. There's absolutely nothing. You feel like you're walking barefoot. And after wearing it a day, you feel like you're um, using muscles you've never walked like before. It's like going back to nature like we were many years ago we used to walk barefoot 
and you're connected closer to the ground and you know feeling the ground i love these shoes i really love them i found them on amazon check them out they're like only 25 dollars. i'm not representing them or anything i just love them i wear them as, with socks but i think you can wear them even without socks i love them i have a link down but below so See the orientation, how it goes. And then it goes into, into that cavity. Make sure that it's facing this way. You see, that way. Okay, thankfully, you didn't have to wait with me the last hour and a half because I literally was working on this an hour and a half to get these two bolts in. I don't know what went wrong. Both of them stripped. And trust me, it was not a complicated thing. Look, it just would not go in and they just stripped. And it's not the first time I'm stripping a Harley bolt and it was only opened once. There's absolutely no reason in the world why why that happened, okay, you can blame it on me. I don't take the blame, but I literally had to improvise because where am I gonna get these uh, bolts? And I have to put this back in place, otherwise I can't ride uh, to Maine tomorrow. So I improvised something with an, uh, another bolt with a nut in the back. I secured it over here. I don't know if you can see. All I'm saying is, I, if it happened to me, it can happen to you. Be careful, very sensitive over here, getting it uh, position right because these they stripped so easy i don't know dude like i have to figure out the top the top stripped and it just w wouldn't go in no matter what i tried so we're gonna have to get a replacement for this and for now i have it nice and secure now let's put the rest uh let's put the actual fairing on now i need to remove this bolt and put the, the fairing between the engine guard and the frame itself. As you see, there's a hole over here. By the way, in on their uh, Advan Black website, there's a part over here that it, it's not a hole, it's like open on the top, so you can literally slide it in. But in this case, I actually need to take the whole bolt out and then run it through here. That bolt is out. It had a knot on the other side, a knot on the other side. That's the bolt. Now I'm gonna put the, the fairing right here between the frame and this plate and then run the bolt through it. I think I need to take this plastic cover off. So I'm gonna unscrew this, take it out and just remove this plastic uh, covering. Yeah, and I got this guard off, just one plastic uh, cover and it it's held in by obviously why would it be an Allen uh, up till now all the bolts were Allen's this should be uh, a Torx obviously why make like life easy yeah of course so you should have all possible tools makes sense right okay I slid it in like you can see over here between between the frame and the uh, mustache uh, engine guard I'm gonna put the bolt through it and on the bottom, the two bolts over here that are supposed to fit into the bracket. The mosquitoes are killing me. And I, we still didn't find the, the anti-bug killer repellent thing thingy. Oh my God. Finally aligned this. I had to pull this up a little bit because it was dropping. Put a screwdriver right over here, right over there and lifted everything. So, 
this whole thing got up and I was able to get, get that one in. Okay, I finally got this in. Let me tell you, being able to put that nut back in there, holding it in place with a wrench, there's simply no way, nowhere to get anything in there. Not a hand, not a finger. I worked on this about an hour and this whole area is also blocked so you can't get your finger in behind. The biggest problem again is getting that nut, that nut in through, or I suggest for Advan Black to make that slit, that cut on the top of the fairing and not a hole like it's here right now. Because the minute there's a hole, that means you have to take the whole bolt out with the nut, run it through the fairing, and then put the uh, nut back in, and that's crazy. Otherwise, if there was a, a slit on the top, you didn't have to take, you just need to release this a little bit, the nut stays in place, and then you slide, you slide the fairing up. And that way uh, takes you way, way faster. So I'm gonna tell Adam Black that that's what I think they should do. Cause I was struggling here. It's, it took way too long. Now I'm gonna put the bolts right here on the bottom where they go into the bracket. And then I'm gonna tighten this finally. Well, I got these two in. I must say it wasn't easy. Not that it's difficult, it's finding exactly where, where the lines. But finally in, and now I'm gonna tighten the top right there. And I'll do a little walk around. This took way too long. That's it, got this tightened out. Now let's clean up and take uh, the bike out for a little walk around so you can see what it looks like. So let's do a walk around and then I'll show you uh, my thoughts about the process and uh, what I think about it. four hours of installing let me tell you what i think i think the look is killer i love the look i think personally it's cosmetic only i don't know about functionality people will argue yeah that the screens inside will help block uh pebbles rocks whatever fly into into the oil uh in oil cooler two things that set me back is first of all i stripped those two bolts believe me it, I don't. I didn't do anything uh, out of the ordinary. I think those bolts are uh, extremely weak, extremely soft. So I had to improvise another, uh, you know, another bolt to fit in there. And second thing, most important, is that that hole they have on the top instead of the slit. Personally, I think that if you, I don't know how they make it now. I'm like, if they make the hole or they make the slit on the top. If I had that slit, it would make life so much easier. I wouldn't have to remove that bolt and the nut in the back. Getting that nut back in after you put in that fairing, okay? That chin uh, fairing, the chin out. You have no place to put your finger through to get into that nut. I'm trying to get here, trying to get through here up to that bolt is crazy. That took me an hour and a half with... I don't know how I got it in. So if you get uh, without the slit with the hole, I highly suggest to literally cut it. That's what I would do, okay? I would literally cut an opening on the top and then just slide that whole chin mount from in between the frame and the mustache engine guard or the engine guard. And uh, that way you avoid removing that bolt and nut again. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm heading over to Maine tomorrow early in the morning. I'm Sandy, watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out.